Oh god, guys, here we go again. Battle Arena is always a freaking bloodbath. Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be doing an arena climb. Maybe? We'll see. Let's see what bracket I get put into, okay? And so let's get into it. I'm going to hit the quest, and I'm going to hit the Battle Arena. So let's see if I'm in any brackets that you guys are in. Or if I'm going to have any friendlies, or if I'm going to have any enemies that are actually after me. And so let's hit it. Let's get into the Battle Arena, and let's see which bracket... What the frick? Come on, man. Okay, guys, and we are back. So let's get into the battle arena and let's see where we are. Which bracket are we in? Fail, Entofu, Mingo. Okay, okay. I need to stop reading out names, but oh, I see. I see a couple of people I do know. And I see a couple of people that I am not pleased to see. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Cool, 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 cool. All right, I guess I'm ready to do the climb. Let's go. Sorry, I got fallen. Wait a second. Wait a second. 12, 8, 2, 9. Let's see what is the max rank that we can hit. It's probably going to be about 12, 7. And so, yeah, 12, 7, 5, 1. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll use a quick meme team to get it over and done with. So, probably something like da da da. Uh, no, let's do this one. This one is really fast. Bam. We do the, the Tsumuki one uh, over here. And so Tsumuki, Saren, we've got Yuki. It's all going to just got to like bust that open. And hopefully it will just bust it open for like the next like probably 10k ranks. And maybe I can get back to like top 100 at least. We'll see. All right. What the? <laughs> they just instantly died. I mean, what did I expect? They're so freaking low HP. They're so like low power as well. So yeah. Uh, I think like for the first probably like maybe 20 attacks, it's not going to actually matter overly much. So what have we got next? So mm, 345 gems, what I'm talking about. This is the juicy stuff, man. Mm, I do like that. I do like that. All right. So let's start scouting for our next one. 12751, 10800. Let's just look for a max rank attack. Oh, a 1061, or, uh, 10861. Yeah, I'll take this. All right. So I'll see you guys in four minutes. All right. Next attack, 10861. To be honest, I think I'm just going to skip through all of this until we get into like maybe the hundreds or something. This is pretty boring to watch. So I will see you guys when we get over there. Yeah. All right, boys, I am back. I am in the 200s. And honestly, if you guys are watching this video and if you haven't done like your freaking first time climb for rank one, then you guys are doing it wrong because I actually got up to about like about 300 to 200 like without seeing another freaking person. And so you guys better get on it because this is the easiest time that you are going to be able to do like your BA first time reward climb. I think personally, I've only spent like four refreshes, maybe three, four refreshes to get all the way up here. But yeah, from here, it might be like another like two or three refreshes or something. But with that being said, let's start having a look at these comps over here okay so i'm at 215 and i want to hit this guy 183 he's using a is that a magic comp without okay yeah all right this kind of looks okay so i want to hit this with a magic comp probably actually could get away with like a mage melt uh i reckon i could actually break through this faster than he could break through mine so let's actually give that a shot uh la da da skiaru akari and then one more single target i reckon it's gonna be mm, kyoka a kyoka it could be hatsune it could be kyoka or it could be actually sustained like from a maho or something right another option i do have is to actually use like a tamaki to take out the back line first but like uh Let's try this out. I, I'm, I'm curious to see if this is going to work. However, there is a chance that the Monica is going to cock my cooker, but like we can only see. We can only see, guys. So this is one of those like more imaginative comps, right? Because like I don't see this because, well, I don't see it because there's a ton of weaknesses with it. And as you can see, that Nozomi is already freaking dead. All right, let's just keep going. And uh, we've got magic shield. That's not going to do anything. Okay, so cooker is dying. Cooker is dead wow cooker is dead however it is four on three we are we have our ubis up and this is a pretty solid win to be honest i'm pretty sure this is a solid win we're going to take out that skiaru and then we've got the kyoka ult on their kyoka it's pretty easy there's 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 just too many holes there's just too many holes in their comp right it was a freaking magic comp and like i guess it was like technically catching the tamaki but like there was nothing stopping like a full magic comp right all right let's move on and let's have a look at our next target so we are and da 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 132 jewels it actually feels really bad because the first time it gave you like thousands of jewels but yeah anyway 183 let's have a look for our next target and hold on to them 158 183 that's pretty good i think 158 is probably the highest i'm gonna see uh 160 
152. Yeah, it's going to be about 158. 155. Okay, I'm happy with that. 155. Okay, so this one is a... Whoa, what the heck? This is a complete stall. This is an interesting one. Okay. Okay. And so guys, I will be back when the timer hits zero, but like essentially what I'm planning for this is like a complete stall breaker, right? There is absolutely nothing that is protecting that Miyako, so I can definitely like mage into it. However, that Kuka is now blocking my way. And so what I'm thinking is something like probably Kuka to take the blind from the Maho. I could also technically use Jun as well. I can use one or the other, and then I'm probably going to take Kaori, Makoto, Akari, and potentially either Monica or like a Skiaru. I think both would work. Uh, I'll just see how I'm feeling like when we actually hit the timer, okay? All right, guys, time is up. And so let's hit this guy. Hopefully it's going to work. Actually, I'm a little bit worried about that Yukari over there. Hmm. 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 I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm feeling a little bit scared. I'm hoping it's going to work. Uh, and then Akari. So theoretically, this one should work. And so with the Akari and the Skiaru, we should be able to melt the Miyako straight away. And then the physical damage should be able to take these guys down. However, the Yukari and the Maho might have enough single target heals to actually like out heal all of this. I guess the only way to find out is to actually try it. So let's just freaking go for it. So this is my classic stall breaker team. If I do see a stall, I typically use something like this, right? Sometimes I do feel like running the Kuka like instead of the Jun just to be able to take that blind. So as you saw, like this guy over here and uh, oh oh baby that was a fat it wasn't a crit i was gonna say fat crit but it wasn't a fat crit at all uh so hopefully we're gonna get the makoto yubi and then we're gonna actually oh my god wait that cooker healed so much okay come on cooker has to die here oh my god okay it's not looking that good it's not looking that good oh and the cooker's dead okay this is easy i'm just kidding guys i'm just kidding it wasn't it wasn't that it didn't look good it was just that i'm just memeing right i'm just memeing all right, and so our Kari should be able to get, I think the blind expires. Oh my God, it's so good. I love how it just expires, man. It's just so freaking good. But like, as you guys can see, my brain is, it's its small, but it's not always that small, right? But essentially we are going to get a win here. We're not going to get stored out 24 seconds too easy. <sighs> Feels good, man. All right, let's hit the next and let's see where we're at now. We are at 155. Okay, cool. 155. Let's look for our next target because we can actually hit them straight away again because I'm going to refresh. 135. 100, will we get into 125? Is that, can we, is it possible to get into 125 from here? Oh my God, this comp. Okay. Okay, guys, this is a really interesting comp because this is what is known as Turbo Susana. So we've got the Susana, we've got the uh, Skiara over here, and we've got the Yukari and the Monica juicing up the Susana. I've got a cookie cutter build that is always a treat to watch. So let me, oh, okay, yeah, okay, right. So let me show you guys what it is. Uh, essentially, it is Lima, it is Tsumuki, it is Yuki over here, it is Samapeko, and then it is Saren over here. And so the idea is that it just actually like completely stomps it. Hopefully, hopefully. Generally speaking, that's what's going to happen. Uh, let me have a quick look. Yeah, she'll be okay. She'll be right. She'll be right. All right, let's see how this goes. Yep, so we're going to get the Tsumuki takes a little bit of damage. She's going to get boosted by Yuki, and then she's going to get her big AoE off, and then she's going to bind them, pull them together, and then we're going to get this Samapeko. <sighs> Come on, Samapeko. Do your thing. Do your thing. Watch this, guys. Whoosh, and then that Skyari is just instantly dead. Oh my god, I love this so much. I freaking love this so much. However, what does happen next is that some... Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect them to die so fast. Typically speaking, when we're like evenly mashed in stars and stuff, um, my Tsumugi dies. My Tsumugi eats like a, like a Suzuna ult, and then she just freaking dies. But like in this case, it worked out even better, right? It worked out even better. All right, let's hit next, and let's have a look at our next target. Who is going to be next? So we're 132, 115 gemmies. That's looking pretty good. 132, 112. That's a difference of 20. And it's another one of these? What? What is with people's obsessions with this comp, man? Oh, actually, 20. Can I hit higher? 112. 117. All right, it looks like it's going to be a, probably 100. Why is everybody using that comp? This is this is like a free feed all the way to the top, I think. You're probably you're probably the best hit for me. And so guys, obviously my plan is to do exactly the same thing. However, we do have a 3-minute timer and so I will see you guys in 3 minutes. All right guys, we are back. So let's see if our summer pet code like technique actually is going to work a second time. Spoiler alert, it is going to work. If it doesn't work, I'm going to be really freaking sad because I've been using it for like however many months I've had like summer pet code for. So Wait a second. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. All right, pick him up. Let's go. Pull him into a ball. And then let's... Oh, 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 that scared me for a sec. Hold up. Wait, I'm still kind of scared. Hold up. Wait, my Lima's getting a little low. 
it's getting a little bit low. Okay, so, but like the summer pecker is coming next. And then, whoosh! Yeah. Oh, oh no, nah, I'm just kidding, guys. This is exactly what I'm expecting to happen. So this is normally what happens, right? Like our Tsumigi dies and then the Summer Pekka just comes out and like finishes all off. Too easy, my friends. Too easy. All right, let's go have a look at our next target. So we've got 112 Furut. Uh, looks like I'm looking for 92 for the fastest climb. So there are a lot of familiar faces here. There are a lot of familiar faces. Honestly, all of them look really freaking free. Like it's all freaking stall comps. Look at my defense, guys. This is my defense. And this is like, a lot of people don't know how to fight this. And so that's why I use it. It's really funny, actually. Holy crap. It's so freaking crazy right now. Cause like everyone is trying to do the climb, right? And the reason why I want to like find somebody like really early is because like, I want them to like not be able to ladder me down, right? So if somebody attacks me whilst I'm actually like locked onto somebody or on the screen, I can still hit them for that same spot, right? So I don't really want to hit 96 because like um he'll come back for revenge <laughs> he'll come back for a revenge uh, let me put it that way he knows me <laughs> and i know him 96 yeah i don't want to hit 96 and that's a pretty nasty comp anyway like i really hate sumigi comps all right well i have like two minutes to go look for them and i'm not going to waste any more of your time so oh 95 all right let me think about how to beat this one. This one's actually really interesting. This is not something that you see very, very often. There is a lot of single target heals with the Summer Kokoro, with the Shizuru as well. And then we've got the Tamaki fighting against the mages to prevent a mage melt. Mm, pretty interesting. Let me think about this and I will see you guys in a minute 30. All right, guys, it is time to hit 95. And so, what? What? No, 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 no. Come on, man. That was my prey, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll come back to you guys when I actually get into a screen that I can actually do battle in, okay? Because that's so annoying. I I even, like, uh, I even planned for this guy, man. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys. So, you can indeed see 95 over here. However, like, somebody did take the 95, the previous 95 off of me. And so, with that being said, this guy must pay for taking my prey. And so, I'm going to hit him with uh, this comp over here. So, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then, we're going to do, actually... I don't think there's a Monica. I think there's a Yuki in this comp. Okay, so this should be it. The idea is that the Susana is going to straight away kill that Kuka and then we're going to get the Skiaru hopefully ulting into the Miyaka and hopefully we'll be able to like ran through the rest. There is no healing over here. Honestly, there is another tactic. I definitely see like you can use a Tamaki to get to that Skiaru and then run a Miyaka only. But this is the comp that I decided to use and hopefully it's going to work. I really don't want to have to do like a reclimb or anything. So yeah, we can only see. Okay. So we've got the, yep, there we go. The Yuki is juicing up the Susana and then we're gonna actually get the Susana Yubi into that cooker before she can do anything. Bam! One hit KO. Not really, not really a one hit KO. All right, so next we've got the, um, we've got the Skiaru, hopefully getting her Yubi onto the, this girl over here, the Miyako. And I think it actually is not enough to kill her. I don't think it's actually enough to kill her off. However, with a little bit of support from the other characters, like technically speaking, the Skiaru should be able to do it. Yeah, it's not enough. So, ooh, man, that's close. Actually, in this comp, I believe that the, the Kuka actually dies in this comp. Actually, remember, the Kuka dies. Okay, so that's that's okay. It's not it's not the greatest thing, but it's okay. However, all my DPS are alive. They can't get through my freaking Miyako and easy. Easy peasy, my dudes. All right, let's move on. Let's hit that next button. What are we at? We are at 95. And then so we are going to want to go up to 84. Is this where we're the 10 start? So we've got 80 over here. Ano Tofu. That's an easy comp. 80. I think 80 was the highest one. So I'm probably going to go look for that 80. Okay. Ano Tofu. Uh, 3 minutes 42. I will see you guys very soon. All right, guys. Welcome back. We are hitting rank 80. And so I've actually already hit this one before on Saiga. And as you can see, this is the comp that I will be using. However, this guy that I'm about to hit has like significantly more power and so i'm not a hundred percent sure if it's gonna work but you know what i'm just gonna slam it okay all right so let's go and put in that comp this one this one skiaru all the stall breakers you know what i'm saying this is only the good stuff my dudes it's only the good stuff quick final check and that looks pretty good hopefully that should be able to finish that off yep okay it should be fine begin battle Hopefully it's gonna work. Hopefully I won't freaking like get karma and like because like I used the same one, I fail. I hope really I really hope that doesn't happen, man. I really hope that doesn't happen. But anyway, with that being said, let's have a look at where we're going. So we've got the Carl Reach. Whoa, wait a second, where'd the Miyako go? Miyako always melts, man. The Miyako always freaking melts. Like this is not really her meta, man. Oh my gosh, wait a second. That freaking cooker is really tanky. Oh, she's almost oh my god, wow, she actually died. How did she die so fast? How did she die so fast? So the Kuka in the one before, she actually like healed up and was able to get a lot further than she did like just then. And hopefully this blind is going to go away. 
Oh my god, RNG carried. RNG carried, guys. 30% doesn't matter. Still hit it. Still hit it. More like 100% hitting Kari, man. 100% Kari. That's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, so... That's pretty much it. That's game over. There's literally nothing else that you can possibly do here. We've got 27 seconds. Yeah, actually, that's about the same as like the last one, I think. So yeah, smash him in the face. And then we are now hopefully at rank 80. All right, guys, so we are 80. And so I'm going to look for my next target. I think we can, oh, 74 Mingo. Got a uh, 72. I can probably look up at 70. Kiaru. <sighs> Oh, this is a classic comp I haven't seen in a while. Not really a big fan of this store. However, like back in the day, I had so many problems trying to fight against this one. Let me see if I can actually get up to the 60s, but I think 70 is probably going to be my up. Oh, hold up. 69. Hold up. How far can I go up? 60. Oh, I can't find 68. Okay. Okay. However, this is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so this is a pretty funny one. We've got the Tsumugi, we've got the Yukari, and we've got the Maho on the end. This is a Tsumugi comp, and to be honest, I almost always, like, PCRD fans the Tsumugi comps. And so what it actually came back with is something a little bit odd. So what it looks like is a freaking Yukari tank. We've got a, a Kokoro over here, and then we've got, um, wait a second. Is that, is that a Susana? Okay, Susana. All right, so I'm just going to slam this guy and pray that it actually freaking works, okay? Okay, guys, to be honest, I look at this comp and I get a little bit nervous because I'm like, what the frick? How does this actually work? I honestly have no idea how this one works. Well, like, you know what? I'm just going to trust the process. Let me just check, like, one more time. Triple check because this is freaking weird. Okay, let's hope this works. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, let's see what happens here. Honestly... Okay, Susana gets the buff. That's interesting. And then... Uh, wait, nobody is dying. Wait, like, literally nobody is dying. This is very interesting. Okay, Kuka died first, but, but the Yukari and the Kokoro are actually both able to tank all of the damage, which is really nice, especially because, like, Kokoro heals herself and Yukari heals as well. So we've got that. And so Kokoro is in second position. She's getting pulled out by Tsumuki, and so she's, like, kind of tank swapping-ish. Like, oh, what the frick? I don't know why this comp is working, but it's actually working, and it's really freaking funny. But it's so reliable. Oh, God. Okay, nah, that's not even close. That's, like, super fine. This is very fine, I think. Uh... <laughs> What in the world is going on here? Uh, I, I can't even I can't even begin to explain. All right. Um, but what is certain is I think I'm going to win this one. So we've got 36 seconds. We've got two units left. Both are single target heals. However, we've got the Susana. Bam. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm a believer. I'm a believer in this. 20, 21 seconds left. This is actually such a good comp. Nobody freaking died. Nobody freaking died. This is such an incredible comp. I've... I've never even, I would never have even thought about this, okay? This is so freaking crazy. Whoever came up with this, like, is a freaking genius. All right, so we are at 61. Okay, so I'm going to look for my next target now. So let's have a look for our next target. So I'm at 54, 61. So I'm probably going to be looking for 51 if possible. That one's looking okay. But I do want to max range and I want to hit like 51, um, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe they're locked. Maybe I can't get them. So let's have a look at 52 then. All right, guys, like this is actually really, really freaking crazy. You guys can already see all the stores here. And then there are like so many more stores in like the top 10 through to like the top 50 through to the top 100. It's actually really freaking funny because a lot of the time, like these stores, they actually don't appear in my BA or well, my previous BA that is. But to be honest, like looking at all of this, man, this is actually a really free ride up. So like there are actually, oh, there are actually a couple of like the Tsumugis, you know? And what I can say is that Tsumugi is probably like my one weakness and so like hopefully i won't encounter too many however what i do have is like an opponent with the same same comp as the last one all right guys what i did notice is that i am actually attacking the same poor guy a second time so i'm really sorry if you do see this video i am so so sorry to you but i see this defense i see the exact same freaking counter and so i am gonna freaking do it like this is just such a counter to watch man it's such a treat to watch okay so let's hit that begin battle uh yeah uh, yeah yeah yeah, I think this is the same one. Wait a second. This is just looking at this. It just always gives me like a second thoughts. You know, I'm just like, mm, do I do it? Yeah, okay. I'm going to do it. All right, I'll do it. Okay, I do it. <laughs> oh my God. This is just, it's just such a funny counter, right? Like it's not really something that you would actually expect to actually work on a comp like this. Uh, okay, so we've got the Tsumuki and then we've got the Susana. Man, one day, one day I really need to find out how somebody actually came up with this abomination but gen ingenuity ingenuity but abomination because like what is even going on actually you know what it's not an abomination it's beautiful it's freaking beautiful okay <laughs> 
It's actually freaking sick. All right, so we'll get the Tomuki into the Suzuna, Suzuna UB, and then honestly, the rest is history. We already know how this is going to turn out because it's already like worked once, right? So I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this one. Uh, I think it's a really cool comp, but just, just seeing it play out like and not a single unit is dying. Like seriously, how how do you even come up with this kind of thing? I'm just going to hit next and just accept, accept it. Okay, I accept that. I am 44. Did I just climb off someone really hard? Wait a second. What the frick? Okay. Uh, hold up. What the frick? And so we are at 41st. So let's see if we can go smack somebody else. So we've got a couple of different people. Um, we've got 31st over here. So what if... Oh, I can't click him because I still have two minutes left on my timer. And so with that being said, I will see you guys very, very soon. All right, boys. Timer is over. So we are hitting 31st. And I think this is... Actually, this is an offensive stall. I think we've actually talked about this in one of my videos. And so if I remember correctly, this one is pretty simple. It's uh, generally speaking, I'm pretty sure we can run... We're definitely running a Miyako here. I'm pretty sure we're going to be running the Archers. But otherwise, there is a Tamaki. So it's probably in our best interest to run something like uh maybe something like this something and uh and probably a monica right so cleave cleave down the front we've got the curse from mitsuki and then we've got the shiori who eventually hopefully should be able to take down the cooker to be honest there's probably a more reliable way to do this um yeah okay you know what let's try something else let's try um so we definitely have this to be able to catch the tamaki and then let's do something like um how about how about this should I go Kyoka? Should I go... Mm, should I go Hatsune? And uh, perhaps a Suzuna? Suzuna or a Shiori? Let's have a look. I'm going to say Shiori just for the more consistent damage. I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work. All right, let me slam this bad boy and see how it goes. Hopefully, we get somewhere good. Hopefully, 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 we get somewhere good. Okay. Um... La -da, -da, la da ding so we're gonna get the UB straight away because of the Tamaki onto the Kiaru, the summer Kiaru. Oh my god, my summer Kiaru is almost dead. What the frick? Okay, okay, that's good. So we're taunting now. We're gonna get the summer Kiaru's UB off on the pudding. Um, we successfully caught the Tamaki. We did not get wait a second. Hold up. Hold up, my dudes. Wait, this is not a good- Oh, wait, okay, wait. Well, okay, okay, hold up. Wait, wait a second. How did that go so bad, but so good? I, I don't know how that worked. I, I don't know how that worked, actually. But that was fine. It all it all ended fine. It all ended fine. I'm gonna have to say, I probably got a little bit lucky on this one. And I think if I didn't use Hatsune, it might have been like a different outcome. Because Hatsune was like constantly smacking the Tamaki or the Ninon. And like, so they died actually relatively fast. With that being said though, let's take our win and let's go have a look at number 21. So let's have a look at who is next. So 31, let's have a look for 21. Interesting comp, but like this one looks pretty easy to beat because like you can probably actually like use like a physical team. A physical team with like a Kuka up front just to be able to take that like Ilya and then probably should be able to burst through all of that. And so with that being said, I will see you guys in three minutes and 20 seconds. All right, guys, we are back. I am going to hit this number 21. However, I did take a sneak peek over at PCRD fans and I was kind of right. One of the counters for this one is actually indeed if we use like a cooker in front and then however, I think they actually did something like this. Uh, let me have a quick look. Something like that, right? And so the idea behind this one is really, really sound because like you've got the Mitsuki providing the defense down. You don't want to use your Makoto because she is going to get chunked by that Ilya. And because you've got the Mitsuki here and the Yukari, the Yukari is going to TP boost that Susana, And so the Susana should be able to like almost one shot that Kuka. And whilst all of this is happening and because there's not too much damage on this team, like the Ilya is actually going to chunk that Kuka, and then it's like that the rest is history. But to be honest, when I saw PCR defense, there were actually a lot of counters to this like comp right here. And so I'm just going to slam this one. This is probably what I would do. This is what I probably would have come up with. But for me personally, I probably wouldn't have thought of the Mitsuki. I probably would have used like a Monica instead. All right. So with that being said, let's just hit this begin battle and I hope it works. I really hope it works, man. I freaking, come on. Come on, please work. Just work. Just work, okay? All right. Um, physical damage. We're gonna watch this cooker die so fast. Wait a second, why is my cooker dying faster? Hold up, hold up. Wait a second, that Ilya did no damage. All right, so that cooker is gonna die right here. And then we're gonna move on to the second target. Do they have single target heals? They do. They do have two single target heals. However, that Ilya looks like she's actually dying a little bit. 
but the Ilya can't hit anything other than like the Kuka and the Yukari, so I think we're going to be fine. And Kuka is actually just going to heal up now from like every single one of um, the Ilya's attacks. But what I'm kind of scared of is actually getting stored out here because like, mm, yeah. It does no damage. It does no freaking damage. All right, so actually, maybe the Susana is going to be able to break through that Nozomi. So I think Susana is up next, and hopefully... Yeah, okay. This should be fine. And then Ilya should be next, and then... Oh, no. Yukari next? Yukari or Ilya next? I can't really see. But this would be really, really bad if the Ilya was actually able to get a Yubi off. You know what? Never mind. Never freaking mind. Like, you... <laughs> it wasn't even freaking close. Wait a second, though. I am getting stored out, though. 28 seconds, 27 seconds. I do have this. Okay, nah, this is not even close. Not even freaking close, guys. Easy, easy peasy. Although I have to say, I think this one actually lasted the longest in terms of like all the other comps. 13 seconds, most of them finish up at around like 19 seconds. And so with that being said, we are probably at 21 now or are we at 11? I think we're at 21. So 20, yeah, 21. Okay, so there's 12. So I wanna go like do a clean climb. So we've got 11. And then I'm probably gonna go 11 and then one and then call it a day. So that's pretty good. All right, guys, I freaking forgot to like unpause my recording. So I actually like went in on somebody. However, this person was nice enough to actually drop their defense to one unit. And so I was actually able to just like go hit them. And so this is actually gonna get me over to da 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 number two. Wait a second. Wait a second. Number two. Hold up. What is going on here? Hold up. What the frick? Wait. Wait, how do we get here? <laughs> how do we get here? What the frick? Okay, guys, this is going to be a real pain in the ass because like everybody is going. <gasps> get, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh my god, I got it. I freaking got it. I got it. I got rank one. I got the rank one guy. Okay, I got the rank one guy. Holy crap. You saw that freaking fast ass cooldown refresh for that 10 gemmies. It's 100% worth it, guys. It's 100% worth it. That was like actually so incredibly freaking lucky, to be honest. Like, holy moly. For 10 gemmies, that is definitely the right move because like after this, what's going to happen is I'm just going to get hit all the way down to oblivion. I'm going to get hit down to 200 overnight. And like, so this was 100% the right move. I need to get my first now or never. And so this guy was actually nice enough to drop his defense for us. And so I'm just going to begin this battle and like freaking thank him in the form of, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to actually thank him. But if you are seeing this, uh, what's your name? If you are seeing this, no pants, then thank you very much. And so this is what, like, you know, this is part of the, the whole pre-con spirit, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, just gotta get the, gotta give people the chance to get the rank ones, right? Because this is a team game. Fourth to first is jewels times 50. Wait a second, I was fourth? I got hit that hard? Oh, oh man, what the heck? But yeah, wow, that was, um... That was a little bit anticlimactic. I didn't think that I wouldn't need to fight for first place. Like, it was actually really freaking crazy for those last ones. Like, I hit somebody with, like, one defense and I somehow got elevated up to, like, second. And then from there, I, like, refreshed and then I instantly found first and then, like, I freaking snapped onto that. And on top of that, this person was actually nice enough to leave a one-person defense and so I promptly got it really easily. So, thank you so much, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we got, like, 50 jewels. Wait a second. Why does that feel so underwhelming, man? <laughs> it's right. Let's take it. So, like, let's have a look at our battle history. I'm probably gonna get whacked again like oh my god wow this guy is whacking me so hard all right all right so let's go like receive our jewels let's go get our bounty so let's go to presents and let's see all of this good stuff all right receive all let's see what we're about to hold up nay this is actually right i think i hope this is right wait what if i claim it six eight two four okay yeah there we go that's what i'm talking about so guys if you do see that like lesser jewels amount like just know that there is a bug and that bug is that it actually only counts a certain amount of jewels so like hopefully you guys don't get scared off by it just like hit the redeem button and you guys are going to get that mm mint 11k that's what i'm talking about and so yeah that's like a really anticlimactic end to my journey up to rank one and i'm probably already hit again so let's actually have a look so let's go to quest battle arena where are we now we're already at seven what the frick but yeah that was um that was actually really fast but really slow but like as you guys can see like it's actually really freaking dark now it took quite a long time waiting for the cooldown time to actually pass but like we got there in the end right and so with that being said there's not too much left to be said except like good luck on your like climbed up to rank one because because, like you might not get as lucky as me like look at this guy he's so nice he's just like left his single defense there but yeah let's wrap this bad boy up all right guys i got a secret question for you guys how did your rank one climb go if you did go for it and i really really highly recommend that you do go for it because like this is the best time to go 
you're gonna like find so many bots and then like around like the top 200 top 400 you're gonna start fighting people however these people should be around like your power range but yeah let me know if you guys actually managed to hit rank one and if not then like well where did you get to and so if you guys could drop the answer to that secret question down in the comments below i would really appreciate it because it means that you've actually watched up until the end of the video and that was a real slog so thank you guys very much but otherwise please consider a sub a comment a follow a pin you guys already know what it is a notification bell enable thing if you would like to support the channel there is a membership button below as well as some other things in the description otherwise as no pants once said all good things must come to an end like he relinquished his rank one to me and so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video bye bye